So the shot right here, this is my setup um, that I have. And, and you know, it's something I've learned like, from photography is that you don't need the fanciest stuff to get a good shot, okay? You gotta be able to use your creativity, use what you have around the house, don't overthink it, um, sketch out some ideas, you know, based on what you want and everything, and uh, you can produce a really good shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the setup of what I have here um, in order to get my shot. All right, so as you see here, so this is actually a piece of reclaimed wood that I bought at a craft store and I stained it. Um, and it actually turned out a lot more gray than I wanted. However, it works really well for this. Um, and I also have just a mason jar full of some granola scattered around. I have the lid right here and I decided my plant was out because I was watering it, but I decided it actually might look really good in the background. Something that's really important to keep in mind um, when you shoot is the lighting. And I live in a studio apartment and so the lighting here is fabulous because we have so many big windows. Um, and so I usually just shoot here on my kitchen table or somewhere here in my kitchen um, with the lighting. I do have some auxiliary lights that I use every, use every now and then, but mostly I just use the natural light. And the fun thing with like Sally's food photography is that like every piece of granola, every thing of flour or whatever or grain of salt is there for a reason. Um, and I absolutely love it. So basically, I don't want any distractions like the writing here on the mason jar. And so I, I've turned it. I do want this lid in the background. Um, and I had my plant on there just because I was going to water it. But I was like, hey, it might look good in the background. So let's see what we can do. Alright, so like not bad at all, right? So here are just a couple of shots. I do maybe want to try something a little different. So as I was, I was looking through those pictures, I was like, oh, you know, there's some good ones, some potentials that I actually really like. However, I got thinking, what more can I add to this photo? So I ran to my um, little drawer thing that I have, and I grabbed these puppies. Seriously, best things in the entire world, these little fairy LED lights. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, they're fabulous. And honestly, all I did was they were already kind of all tangled up, so I literally just stuck them in here. Um, I brought some more to the foreground. I made sure that they covered the entire part right here. Brought some to the foreground. Those little puppies. You can't really like see what they're gonna do right now, but let me tell you, they're just magical. They are so magical. Okay, so here's some of my first ones that I did. Went from these. Okay, added the LED lights. Went to this. Love it. <laughs>